Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one going to show you how to create the picture-in-picture -picture effect for lectures, for PowerPoint presentations, where you have like, for example, you have a lecture in the background here or a slide, and in the bottom right or wherever you want to put it, you've got a circle with your face as you do your teaching. This is very popular for PowerPoint presentations, for lectures, for even for gamers, if you want to have your gaming footage and then your face in the bottom right. How did I do it? Let me show you step by step. Let's delete all of this nonsense and let's go ahead and do it. I'm even going to delete slide, going to delete that as well. So we've got the lady loaded up in our project or the teacher, and then we've got the slide. The first step is you want to grab your footage, your video footage, and generally that's the larger of the two. Drag and drop that and put it in your timeline like I've done here. Now this is obviously a teacher, and of course we want to focus on her. So <laughs> the next step, if you're following along with me, this is science people, um, I'm gonna take this video and I'm going to move it to video track two as I just did there. So there you go. So now I just moved it up, I just clicked on it and moved it up. Now, the next step before we start uh, adjusting the teacher, I'm gonna drag and drop in slide, the, the lecture, the image. You'll notice here that I've got this saved as a PNG file. However, a JPEG or a TIFF or maybe even a PDF, I think, I can't remember. A lot of different formats work and you just wanna export them to make sure that you've got a format that works with Premiere Pro. Drag and drop this into the timeline on video track one. And then, you know what, we can just make this the same length as the video. So if I turn the top off, there you go. We've got this video, uh, we've got the slide underneath it. Now, here's an important part. The slide is not correct in terms of formatting. So I'm gonna click on the slide layer. I'm gonna right click on this, and then I am going to scale to frame size. When I do that, that just basically blows it up and it makes it the correct size or the same size as the video. So the video now and the uh, lecture are the same size. All right, good, you're following along, hopefully. Now, click back on the video track right here like I've done here, and that snoring is my bulldog, Kingston, so apologies for that. Now, click on the video track like I've done, go to Effects, and then go to Transform. So you wanna go to Video Effects. Let's just close everything up here. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Video Effects. Drop down to transform like I've done here, and now grab the crop option. We're gonna drag and drop crop onto the top track, so the track with the teacher, in this case, the lady. Okay, good, we've dropped it on there, nothing's happened, not to panic. Head up to effect controls like I've done here, and then as I scroll through here, you're gonna see crop. This is where we're gonna go ahead and start making some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the create ellipse mask. This is gonna create a circle crop, but if you want a rectangle or a, spe or a unique shape, go ahead and do that, but we're gonna do a circle. I'm gonna click on that, and now it draws, basically it draws a sphere for me, and now I'm gonna move that sphere basically over her face. So let's go to somewhere around, somewhere about there. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, good enough. So we've got that over her face, but again, this isn't what we want. We need to make a couple more adjustments. The next step, and this is a critical step, is we need to go ahead and take at least one of these options here to 100%. And what happens is, is we're basically telling it that we want to mask out the entire background. However, again, this is incorrect, because you'll see here that we've got the background, we've got the slide showing through. All you need to do now is check the inverted box and presto we've now got a circle around this lady's face or around the teacher's face and it looks pretty good uh, another option while i have you here is if it has a blurry edge if you do not want the blurry edge just drop the mask to zero and that gives a hard edge depending on the look that you're going for okay so you can even you can turn these up to 100 percent as either but as long as at least one of these is at 100 percent it works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click out of it. So I'm just gonna click on here. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna double click on her or on the circle. And you're gonna see here that I can now start to move her. For some strange reason, I can now grab that video and move her and her and, and the teacher is inside the circle. So I'm gonna go ahead now and scan through here, hit play. And you will see that now she Oh, she's a bit out of frame there, but not to worry. She is now where we need to be. This is how you go ahead and add yourself into a lecture with the circle crop method. Thanks for watching.